So how do you deal with the intensity? Does that intensity grow on you when you go home? Like, you know, seeing people dying, seeing people suffering so much, seeing their families suffering so much, does that affect you emotionally? I think... And then started, what do you do to overcome that? When I started working in hospice, it was it was affecting me a lot. Like, naturally, um, you know, thinking, oh, what if this was my dad or my sister or my mom or whatever. But um, I think... Just as a devotee, you naturally try to feel somebody's sadness or somebody's, you know, joy. But at the same time, as as nurses, um, you're also trained to sort of separate yourself. Like, it's kind of like, you know, it's a lesson also. It's kind of like a movie. Like, you can be so immersed in the movie that you think you're in it, or you're just a viewer. And it's the same thing with our bodies. We can be so immersed in the fact that we're this body or that we're some, something inside this body that we're actually viewing. And it's a vehicle for us to get to a certain destination. Um, and so learning to separate myself. And what helps me is I do a lot of yoga. I do, yeah, I chant. Um, I write. Um, but actually what's helped me is yoga. I also teach yoga at work to colleagues. And um, so I think that's, that's been really, really helpful in my own way to deal with death. Um, yeah. So where does the chanting of Hare Krishna come into play in your day-to-day, -day, you know, just dealing with your profession, dealing with life, dealing with... When chanting... Well, the thing is, you cannot care for somebody unless you've cared for yourself. You cannot... If, you, if I think I'm going to be able to give really holistic beautiful care that is so encompassing for a patient and their family by just not taking care of myself, that's not going to happen because you won't be able to take care of somebody else. But if you, if I have, you know, set aside to chant and do yoga and write and eat properly and sleep properly, I go in the next day feeling so much more energized to be able to give my all to my patients. So, um, and it's doing simple acts of kindness that people notice. If you want to try to share Krishna in your workplace, the best way to do it is do it to yourself first. Be Krishna conscious first and that's the only way that they're going to see a difference. Otherwise, it's not, it's not really good.